Wild card Saturday. Lions in the playoffs for the first time since 1999. Great job by Jim Schwartz and Martin Mayhew Prime, your former a teammate, teammate at Florida State. He played the other corner. Deshaun Payton and the Saints. Come back, oh, Brad. Brett Farmer in he's the coming house back. as well. National championship game being played Monday featuring LSU. Matthew Stafford hits Calvin Johnson for 22 yards and a Lions first down. Great opening drive here for Stafford and the Lions. He finds Titus Young 15 yards there on a third and seven. Moving the chains. Three plays later on a first and goal. And Phillip, this is just how you draw it up when they scratch out the first 15. You like this game plan, huh? I'm telling you, Stafford was, I don't even know if he missed that first drive. He spread it all around. That's the thing, you got Calvin Johnson, but he's got other guys, other weapons, and uh, they came up big on that drive. Hit Will Heller for the 10 yard touchdown. Drew Brees, though, coming right back. 23 yards, Devery Henderson. Remember, no Lance Moore out this game with a hamstring injury. Second and two now, it's Brees to Colston. Steven Tullock, though, comes up with a nice play. Fumbles, it's recovered by Justin Durant. So these are the kinds of turnovers that you need. Not Start. the character of this Saints team. But the Lions didn't take advantage of it. And so they ended up putting the football. And on the next Saints possession, it is Breeze to Pierre Thomas on a screen on a third and 10. We can suppose a lot of credit, but this guy has been consistent. And keep in mind, no Mark Ingram for the last quarter of the season with a foot injury. Thomas, more of that consistency, nice. Prime. Great blocking yards. downfield. You can only break a run like that when you have good blocking by the receivers downfield. And now third and one at the Lions' two-yard line. It is Darren Sproles. That shit the pony's nice. For the two-yard <laughs> touchdown. And Phillips, we don't have to tell you how special a player Darren Sproles is. I'll tell you what, big time player, and he usually uh, hurts you more receiving. He had 10 carries for 51 yards uh, tonight. Game tied up at seven, lines coming right back. Stafford to Calvin Johnson, 18 yards. And the first down, 31 yard line. It's incredible how they consistently get him the ball. And I like the fact that the game plan was let's just come out and let's throw it. Stafford and Nate Burleson. Another pickup of 21 yards. Three plays later, it's Stafford to Calvin Johnson for the touchdown. Well, you know he's going to get it, but you still can't stop. Johnson gets both feet down. Stafford six for eight, 73 yards on that drive. Lions on top, 14 to seven. Keep in mind, Calvin Johnson finished the regular season with two 200-yard games in his last three. Here, Breeze is hit by Willie Young. Fumbles, it's recovered by Justin Durant. But the problem is the whistle blew before the recovery. So the Lions couldn't advance it. They could just take possession. That would have been a touchdown. Would have been a touchdown. And at the end of the day, it's still another fumble, another turnover, but they didn't get any points out of, but that, that should have been a touchdown there. And now Breeze to Colston. 23 yards and a first down for the Saints. 143 left in the half on a fourth and one here. And Sean Payton's a gambler, going for it. Chris Ivory picks up the first down. Saints are still in business. 21 Great seconds push left. By the offensive line. Saints are out of timeouts. And here it's Breeze to Colston. It's called a touchdown. Plus Amari Spavet's call for unnecessary call. roughness because of the hand to the helmet there. But they took a look at this because every scoring play is reviewed, and they saw that the ball did pop out. But still, the penalty it stood. 16 seconds left now. Breeze can't find anybody. And so he backs up. Catch the ball, half's over. Catch the ball for interception, the half's over. That's why he's he getting no points. points. Looking for Jimmy Graham there, eight seconds left. Breeze. Catch the ball, interception, half's over, no points. Mm -hmm. So back John, Casey, John Casey came on out of a 24-yard field goal, 14-10. Saints down at the break. Third quarter. And then it starts to. At some point, the offense is going to just start to click, and they're not going to give you the opportunities. Here's Breeze to Robert Meacham, although he drops this pass right here, right That's in right. his hands. Can't Dio. blame it on the lights, can't blame it on anything. You just flat out drop that one in a game of this magnitude. All right, I don't buck up, we'll give it to somebody else. Well, Phillip, you know it. You've got Floyd, you've got Jackson. You've also got a big this. tight end there. Drew Brees got a ton of weapons as well. I'm telling you, there he finds Devery Henderson uh, right down the scene. They're hard run action. Anytime they hard run action, you see both backs there to help. Um, these guys can really run up the field, and, and like we've mentioned, Drew's as accurate as anyone. 
Broad time nominee right there. Saints go 78 yards in four plays. Bam, bam, just like that. Going forward here on a fourth and one at their own 38-yard line. How about that for guts? Mooch, is that five points of pressure? Or eight points of pressure? Drew Brees that. up and over for the first down. Second and three now. It is Brees to coast it. 40 yards on the line. Mm. Colston's out at the three. The secondary still in the shower, cooling off right now. <laughs> and then 13th play of the drive, and, and Jason, this is what happens. Jimmy Graham's wide open defense. Yeah, a little they bit of can't confusion. get set. A little bit of confusion defensively, and you just can't do that. And it's a great job by Drew Brees getting them lined up quick and throwing it out there. I mean, it's you, you can't have it. You just can't have it. Just like that, Saints on top 24-14. You know Graham can get up to get down. Hooper in college at Miami. 24-14, Stafford coming right back. Triple coverage, no problem. So no matter. Let's try and get it. No, we'll best in the it. business. Arguably the best in the business. And, Phillip, how about this catch by Calvin Johnson? The presence of mind to come back to get the football. Great catch and great throw. You know, uh, Stafford was under pressure. He had to throw it early. He threw it to where his guy could get it. And nobody else could. Third and goal. Chargers, is this in the Chargers playbook here, Phillip, on third and goal? I've had a few to the pylon. I get, I get... I get ragged a long time by how long it takes me to get to that five up. <laughs> Great run there. That one was called a touchdown. All scoring plays were reviewed. There you see the back knee and the ball. The back knee touches down the ground. At the same time, the ball hits the pylon, so the play stood. 24-21. Saints going forward again on fourth down. It is Darren Sproles. Mm. You, you had to play defense, but you did account for Darren Sproles' running ability. Still a, probably the best offseason acquisition in the game. Couple of uh, plays, hurt. couple of plays later, all looking for Breeze. I'm looking make for Meach and Aaron Berry though. Doesn't come over the interception. Play. You've got to make that play. Separates the good from the great. Right through Barry's arms. And now on a third and two. Who's Breeze. that guy? Breeze to Sproles. That's the Sheldon Pony. <laughs> and Phillip, we talked about it, even though he's about five, 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 six. So strong, so strong. He is, uh, he is, he was pound for pound, probably the strongest guy on our team, and uh, just what a great, just what a great player. 17-yard touchdown scamper for Sproles and Jim Schwartz all over his defense here. You guys can't get your arms around that little guy. Saints on top, 31 to 21. Stafford looking for Titus Young. At some point, this is going to happen too. Picked off by Jabari Greer. You keep taking shots. You eventually get behind, and that's when that Saints defense gets a little bit more opportunistic. So they were still in the game here. It was only a 10-point game, and this is a difference. The Saints defensive backs made the plays, and Detroit, as we saw, has dropped three interceptions already. And Dion, Drew Brees is not taking his foot off the gas. said it early. He holds that safety in the middle of the field, pumped him down the seam, had a cover two call, wanted to keep that safety in the middle because he knew that he had the receiver running down the sideline one on, no, wide open, not one-on-one. -on -one. There he goes right there. Saints owner Tom Ooh. Benson loves it, and Robert Meacham, 56 yards later, he's in for the touchdown. Could have did a move walk in the air zone. Meacham had four catches, 111 yards. Lions down 17 at this point. McClock is a serious issue. Stafford, it's Calvin Johnson. When you see cornerbacks trying to hit the receiver low, you know he's the man. <laughs> Couple of plays later, Stafford and Nate Burleson. So at this point, Saints defense, they're definitely gonna bend. Up 17 with just under five left. Stafford goes back to his favorite target, Calvin Johnson, led the NFL on receiving yards this year, 1,681. 12-yard touchdown, what a day for Johnson. 12 catches, 211 yards, and a couple of TDs. But on the onside kick, Jonathan Amaya there with the recovery, so the Saints take over. And Phillip, Drew Brees is not taking his foot off the gas, is he? Well, you know, you, you play Tampa 2, and he finds a way to beat you up the field, and so you go single safety, and uh, he throws his guy open, and those guys go and make plays. Gets Meacham again there, 41 yards. And Pierre Thomas with the final touchdown of the night for the Saints, 45 to 28. Brees throws for 466 yards and three touchdowns. And the Saints, after losing a year ago in the wild card round to the Seattle Seahawks, 7-9, they make it academic in their first playoff matchup this year. 
Drew Brees throwing for 460.